Alright. Wop. Alright. Hi guys! It's Mama Samu and I was requested to take a video of the scale mail that I have been working on recently. So I thought I would just try and do my best to show what I've been doing. Um, so this is the back of the chest part for Maleficent. You, when working with scale mail, you're always working from the back side. And so the front side looks more like this, what you expect. But uh, yeah, when you're building it, you wanna work from the back. Um, it's very noisy to work with as well. Um, so I am using large scales from theringlord.com. Um, they are fantastic and they have really, really good tutorial videos that are gonna be way better than this, but I'm gonna do my best here. So I've got two different colors of scales, the purple and the black, and I've got some black jump rings. They're just the basic, you know, just the base, basic jump ring here. And uh, I've also got two pliers. You can use whatever shape you like. This is just what I happen to have around the house and it's been working for me. A lot of people use needle nose. I like these kind of hooky ones. I've just, I use them when I did a wire working and jewelry beading kind of stuff. So. Um, so to do this, the scale mill, you want to open the jump ring. Always make sure to you open your jump rings this direction. Like, sorry, I'm trying to keep this in frame. This direction and don't, don't like pull them open. It will weaken the jump ring. So, um, for assembling your first scale, the best way I've thought to think about it is you're assembling them backsides together. So you want to line them up so that you take your two backsides and put them together. And then you put your split thing through the two rings through the scales and then you close it like so and so here you've got scales attached so you want them to be in kind of this orientation so you're gonna want to attach another scale to the other side this is just how you kind of get started like you can see like at the top of mine here this is how I started up here so I'm just showing you how to get a basic start and then you can build pretty much any shape that you want to out of it by using more or less scales on each row, all that good stuff. So um, I might babble a bit here because I'm, yeah, that's what I do. So I'm gonna add my other scale in here and close it up. I really hope all of this is in frame because I can't see my monitor and I've never done a tutorial like this. So. Um, now I've got my three scales, my one center and two sides. So they're gonna end up wanting to be like this. So this is where you get kind of the scale mill part of it. I'll set this piece down. So at this point, you're gonna want to, this is the part that's kind of confusing. Um, at least it was confusing to me when I started. So take your jump ring, do the same thing you always do. And I like to lay my scale down and kind of go through it, it's gonna look weird. I'm gonna try and show you how like it is. So you go in through the back side of this top scale and then kind of go underneath the scale and come in through the back side. So in the end, you're still doing it back to back, but once you get to this large scale, it's very hard to actually put your scales back to back, especially when you have to pick up the big piece. So um, you wanna get used to that laid down kind of method. And so this is where you're going to be using two scales or two jump rings for every scale. And it's really hard to keep track of what the top scale is at this very beginning. But um, once you get it going, it's a lot easier to keep track of what scales are what. So, all right. Yeah. Also, one of the reasons you don't want to, you know, pick it up all the time, especially when you're starting. So, um, so now I'm going to attach this second jump ring to... Again, inside, you go inside, you know, through the front, I guess, or the top of the top scale, and you go through the back of the back scale. So you're coming out, you're coming up the hole. Kind of like, kind of like sewing. You sew in, in one hole, and then you come up the other. Okay, and you close that off. So there you've got a basic, basic beginning chunk of scale. So, so you've got a nice start there. So that's the very basics. And then you would just add that one jump ring. You, you'd start adding a scale, like a scale here and another scale here. And then you would do it the next row connecting them. Um, but like, I'll show you, like, you know, uh, when you first starting, it seems like, you know, picking it up and just putting the two scales together every time would be the easiest way to, you know, get the jump rings right. Cause, but once you start really going at it, um, 
it's a lot quicker to just lay the scale down where you got to go and just go in through this way. It's a lot of fiddly work and it's a lot of changing positions and you'll get really, really good at holding your, your like working with stuff while holding your pliers. Um, and it goes fairly quickly once you really get going. See, so we'll just keep doing a, like do a row here. So, and, and once you, once you get a large piece like this, you can kind of fill in wherever you feel like. I sometimes will work in rows. Other times I will want to like, over here, I'm kind of color blocking out a piece to match my other side. So I've built down my edge edge so I can visually see the end of it, the end of my black and fill in the purple. Mainly because these four black scales are all I have left. I'm waiting for more to come in the mail. So, um, so yeah, I am, I'd say with the chest plate, I've got maybe three, two, two to three more hours of work on the chest part total. And then I'll be building straps out to the side and up and yeah, there's a slightly different method for doing scale for that. And I might take a video for it, but um, yeah, this video is getting a little long, so I will cut off here. So I hope that this has been a little useful and that you will be able to figure out scale. Again, I will leave links to the Ring Lord um, in the description here. So uh, yeah, don't be afraid of the scale mail. I'm a pure, if a seamstress can figure it out, you can too.